perfect. All right, here we go, everyone. So this is the uh, Exorcist. It's an interesting job. I was never the best with it when I first played, but maybe I'll find some uses here. I cannot fall. Not like this. But if I must, I will take this accursed cannon and your tank with me. N never. Step aside, fool. Never. This is the greatest relic of my, my people. <laughs> and so you think it is worth your life. That is a price I am willing to pay. <gasps> what is this? Move, little boy. Have you a death wish, too? Oh, do I scare you? Go run in terror, like a good little boy. I... I am not going anywhere! You stay away from my papa! Touche pas, mon père! I... I will not let you! <laughs> Very well. Procyon! <laughs> Inconceivable! In the nick of time. <laughs> Rev, my son, may your soul at long last be free. Free. From your father's delusion, and from the hatred and grief that has bound us both. <gasps> See you later, guys. Procyon, are you alright? Yes. Hmm. Listen to me, my young friends. With the SP tank empty, the Sagita's cannon is useless. Now our only hope to stop the Kaiser lies with you, and you alone. Speaking of the Kaiser, you said you had a theory about his true objective. Indeed. I believe... No, I am convinced the Kaiser intends to unleash the power of the space-time compass. Why else would he have gotten it? <sighs> As you know it, the compass of space and time. A relic which has no conceivable use on its own. But... When the boundary between worlds is breached, and it is bathed in cosmic light, it grants its bearer the power to transcend the very fabric of space-time. Impossible! This is the Kaiser's true goal? I am certain of it. He would use the power of the compass to return to the past, and alter the course of history. But that's... Hold it right there! If he changes the past, then what happens to this world? If my theories are correct, it would simply disappear. And a new world would be born in its place. It would be as if this world had simply never happened. That's preposterous! This world and everyone in it would vanish from existence? We can't let that happen! I could not agree more, you. And that is precisely why we cannot allow the Kaiser to unleash the Compass's power. To protect this world and its people. Absolutely. Ah, uh, but night gives way to dawn. And our time together must come to an end. What? Why? It would seem I can only appear to you at night. When the moon shines bright in the sky. And now I must return this body to young Tiz. Do give him my regards. But before I go, I would leave you with some cherished words of advice. Scenic vistas, like grapes, improve as you go up. Which means what, exactly? <laughs> I pray for your victory, friends. Bon chance! Okay.
So that's what happened. I did have some idea, but still. You mean you could feel his presence? I knew that something was odd. Like there was someone other than myself inside me. Oh, and there was a letter in my pocket when I woke up. Take a look. My dear friend Tiz, please forgive me for borrowing your body for the evening. My name is Altair. Once I lived as a man like you do, in a time long forgotten to humanity. Now, only my soul remains. Until recently, this soul of mine slumbered in a certain stone that I might attend to some unfinished business in this world. At first, I feared that if I made my presence known, you would try to expunge me from your body. And so I remained silent. But as I traveled with you and your friends, I came to change my mind. It started with a few entries in your diary. Then I began to advise you from out of sight. Young souls struggling bravely against a formidable foe. I just couldn't leave well enough alone. After all, Luxendark was once my home as well. Though I parted from it in life with some regrets, I do not want to lose this world I once shared with my one true love. Tis, I am counting on you and your friends. Stop the Kaiser and save our world. P.S. I understand if you choose to have me exorcised at any time. <laughs> kind of feel bad for calling him a stalker. Do you know where Altair is now, Tiz? I can't say for sure, but I know I'm not going to have him exorcised or anything like that. Yeah, not after he's done so much to help us. Oh, good morning, Mr. Lotus, Elder. <sighs> you are the saviors of our village. Words ca cannot suffice to express our gratitude. Words are more than enough. We only did what we had to do. Well, actually, there is one thing. If it's in our power to give, just say the word and it is yours. Brilliant! You approve, right, Elder? Naturally. It is the least we can do. The, the engineer in me can hardly wait. Oh, it's Her Holiness. I have terrible news, everyone. The Skyhold is on the move again. It would seem we are headed for the Temple of Water. Drat! They beat us to the punch again! All the soldiers are bustling about and... <gasps> Someone's coming! Farewell for now. Wait till they get a load of the barrier we put up around the water crystal. This is our chance to deal the Empire a decisive blow. Let's hurry to the temple. Be safe. I'll get busy on your request while you're away. Is that two shadow? I didn't know that. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, sword dance and withering wave. Cool. Which means that one's going to be done in a minute. Okay, and dead slayer. Bringing us up to level six. So if I go here, I can get divine light and cross divide. Critical. Light. Arctic wind. HP recovery four. Balsam. Acid rain and blade storm. And defense up and defense down. This one has thirty seconds, so we're gonna wait till it's done before I. Uh... Huh. That's awesome. Yeah, the Metal Gear Solid games have. Oh, but fairly decent from the voice acting, from what I've seen of them. I've never actually played the Metal Gear series. Uh, my brother and uh, one of my best friends growing up was really into the series, though, and I feel bad for never getting into them. Silly is supposed to stream them for me, but he won't. He's being a jerk. So now my only hope is to get Wintrig to stream them for me. There we go. That's okay. I just know overall the series has been pretty decent for voice acting.
All right, let's go to Florum. We're heading to the Temple of Water. The stinging sensation. You don't think? Impossible. We made sure to get the barrier in place. I have a bad feeling about this. Quickly, to the altar! I'll save. I don't think I did that. There you go. Off we go. Oh, yes. set off the other crystals too? <laughs> Wind, earth, fire, and water makes four. You're... Oh, look who showed up. It's been a while. I'm Anna, a fairy in His Majesty's service. Charmed, I'm sure. You couldn't have come at a better time. A few seconds earlier, and you just might have stopped us. But, oh well, that's the way Lux and Dark crumbles. Come on, your holiness. We're off to the border between worlds. Not so fast. We're not letting you go anywhere. Y you know, I thought you might say something like that. Come, Vakul Kakish. These little children want to play. Yikes! We're flying, sir! We're really flying! When did you learn how to fly this thing, sir? I... I didn't, Private. I knew it, sir. You're just a natural, sir. No! I mean, I don't know how to fly it, Private. We just got back from Eisenberg when they strapped us to the back of this thing and said, Lift off! I... I thought maybe you were driving it. Me, sir? I can't even drive an apple cart, sir. Look, my arm, no hands! Criminy! None of these buttons or levers seem to do anything! It's like this thing is flying itself! Wow, sir! Did you just shoot it at someone, sir? With real ammo, sir? That wasn't me! Wait, Anna! What have you done to her holiness? Eyes up front, you! We've got real trouble here! Private Peddler is hilarious. Alright, hello. Private Peddler is hilarious. Why? Alright, hello. Private Peddler is hilarious. Why? Where is that sound coming from? Alright, hello. Private Peddler is hilarious. Why? Where is that sound coming from? Alright, hello. Private Peddler is hilarious. Why? Where is that sound coming from? Alright, hello. One moment. <laughs> 